Hey guys, I'm Nick and welcome back to the channel. Well, the trailer has finally dropped a day later than it normally does uh, for Star Trek Picard Season 3 Episode 10. Uh, normally it comes out a little bit earlier in the week and I did my promo photos rundown and there was no trailer out. So I normally do my promo photos and trailer in the one video, but then I'd finished it, did all the photos, uploaded it, and then literally an hour later the trailer dropped which was like, yeah, a, a day later than it normally does. So here we are back again <laughs> a day later with my breakdown of the uh, the trailer for episode 10 of Star Trek Picard season three, the series finale episode. We're going to take a look at that, uh, break it down shot by shot, and then also we're going to have a chat about the other news that's just come out, which is all talking about the new Section 31 Telly movie. It was originally going to be a TV series, but obviously Michelle Yeoh is all very popular and famous and everything uh, now that she's got her Academy Award. So the prospect of her coming back for a uh, for a series was, let's face it, pretty slim. But they've managed to uh, uh, condense it down into a uh, into a telly movie event, a Section Thirty One telly movie. So that's going to be uh, interesting to look at as well. All right, without further ado, let's take a look at the trailer for Star Trek Picard Episode 10, uh, entitled The Last Generation. Let's take a look. The fleet is being controlled by the Collective. The Borg are here. That cube is projecting a signal across the solar system. Jack is there. And the only way to save Earth is to sever that connection, no matter the cost. What began over 35 years ago ends tonight. We are all that is left of Starfleet. Weapons ready for another run. Don't look! Okay, now let's have a look at some of these shots that whizzed by very quickly in a bit more detail. Uh, I'll go through the more interesting shots. There's obviously there's a lot of stuff we've uh, talked about in my previous video about uh, the promo photos. If you haven't checked out that yet, click up here. That'll uh, that'll show you those uh, promo photos I did a video about yesterday. Um, but let's uh, yeah, let's look at these couple of these shots that are quite interesting, uh, particularly the battle sequence ones, uh, and see what's going on in them. Okay, so in our first photo here, it looks like Geordi is brought up on the view screen of the Enterprise D while he's sitting there in the bottom of frame on his station there. An electropathic pattern, which I'm guessing is whatever transmission that Jack Crusher is sending out from the Borg cube. We've obviously got the signal source there on the right of frame, which shows the Borg cube there. And then obviously they're analyzing whatever Borg signals and so forth that Jack Crusher is uh, transmitting from the Borg cube, which rather than being telepathic, is what they're determining as electropathic. And it looks like Beverly is analyzing this signal as well, because we've got the signal match going on here, signal comparison, the reference being Jack Crusher's neural signature, and they've worked out that this signal that's being sent out from the Borg cube obviously is a match to Jack. Now here is a pretty cool looking battle sequence. We've obviously got the USS Titan there, flying through the middle of all of the other Federation starships that are obviously uh, attacking the space dock with all their phaser beams activated at once. That's a lot of starships and a lot of phasers all firing simultaneously and it looks like the Titan has to almost weave through the beams that are firing on the space dock there and uh, trying to I guess do their best to distract the other Federation starships to stop firing at the space dock or something to that effect. Here's another angle on what probably is the same sequence there. The Titan, you can just see how many starships they've got to contend with. I'm not really sure how they're going to stop this attack. It's That's a lot of firepower going on there. And it looks like while that's going on, we've got the Enterprise D versus the Borg Cube. We've got the Enterprise D shooting photon torpedoes, both firing phasers from multiple phaser arrays on board the ship while it skims along the surface of the cube. It looks like there's a lot of exciting action sequences in this final episode. And it looks like at one point, Picard might even end up on the Borg Cube as we've got Worf and Riker here. Looks like they're leading some form of away mission to uh, to perhaps rescue Jean-Luc and Jack Crusher for that matter because in this next shot we've got a very mysterious shot here of Jack and Jean-Luc on the Borg cube surrounded in some strange electrical energy and in this shot we see the Enterprise D skimming along the surface of the Borg cube looks like there's a, uh, a phaser beam from the Borg cube coming out from the bottom there and hitting the Enterprise right in the bottom of the hull as it skims past. Okay so the other huge announcement that's just come out is about this new Section 31 show. Obviously Michelle Yeoh returning uh, to Star Trek uh, as the uh, Emperor Philippa Giorgio and that's going 
going to be starting shooting later on this year for probably a 2024 release, um, which is basically going to be a once-off, uh, made-for-TV movie, and uh, here's a little bit of information about that. In Star Trek Section 31, Emperor Philippa Giorgio joins a secret division of Starfleet, tasked with protecting the United Federation of Planets and faces the sins of her past. Produced by CBS Studios, production will begin later this year. I'm beyond thrilled to return to my Star Trek family and the role I've loved for so long, said Michelle Yeoh. Section 31 has been near and dear to my heart since I began the journey of playing Philippa all the way back when this new golden age of Star Trek launched. And to see her finally get her moment is a dream come true in a year that's shown me the incredible power of never giving up on your dreams. We can't wait to share what's in store for you. And until then, live long and prosper unless Emperor Giorgio decrees otherwise. Written by Craig Sweeney and directed by Olatunde Osinsanmi, Star Trek Section 31 is executive produced by Alex Kurtzman, Craig Sweeney, Aaron Bayers, Olatunde Osinsanmi, Frank Syracuse, John Webber, Rod Roddenberry, Trevor Roth, and Michelle Yeoh. So it seems now we've had a few announcements come out recently. Obviously, the uh, Starfleet Academy show that they uh, talked about last month that uh, was announced. And obviously now we've got this Section 31 telemovie as well that's just been announced as well. So we've got a couple of little uh, tidbits uh, of, of Star Trek news that have come out recently. But I think we're all waiting to hear on that one big piece of news. We want to hear that the Terra Metalis has a job <laughs> heading up the next show, which will hopefully be the Star Trek Legacy series, uh, which continues the voyages of the Titan, probably with, you know, Seven of Nine as Captain and so forth. And I'm guessing that we're going to see uh, in the last episode, everything set up very nicely for that to happen. So that's the one that I think we're all most excited about. Um, as good as Section 31 and Starfleet Academy is, I think it's no surprise that uh, the show that Terry Metalis has put together for us in Picard Season 3 has just blown everybody away. So we want to see that continue. Hopefully there'll be some sort of announcement about that in the near future as well. But guys, let me know what your thoughts were on the Section 31 telemovie coming out uh, next year with Michelle Yeoh. Are you excited for it? Is this something you, you're, you're keen to see? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. We'll get chatting about that. Guys, if you uh, haven't subscribed to Cyphernax yet, please uh, do so. Click on that big subscribe button to stay current, up to date with all the latest Star Trek news on YouTube. Please leave a super thanks. If you're able to, that really helps the channel out as well. Or also check out all my merch in the merch store. Plenty of really cool Star Trek designs in there um, and hoodies and mugs and caps and stickers and you name it. It's all there. Be sure to check them out and it helps uh, support the channel as well. Uh, I'll catch you guys very soon with my review of the final episode of Star Trek Picard Season 3 and of the series, uh, which is on tomorrow night. Um, I'll see you then.